don't know the truck will burn up, not hurt me so much like the box when box me, you know. It's Maltamasi, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Look who is the man now, look who is the man now, look who is the man right now, right now. Who is doing bad, who is doing bad right now, yeah. Are you gonna talk when you don't even know me, you don't know my story, you don't know me, you don't know nothing about me, you don't know the guts, I only seen the glory. As expected from Nesbeth, a beautiful production from the music video to the message of the song. This track is called Who's the Man and it gives off a playful, upbeat energy that can shift the listener's mood. Each verse is compact with knowledge and encourages the listener to see life from a more positive outlook. You can either see the glass as half full or half empty. It's up to you. Lovely melodies and flows. Keep the song interesting i can feel his emotions via his delivery and that goes to show that nesbitt sings from his heart and it takes a true artist to convey what's on his heart so big up nesbitt for that and his entire team click the link below to listen to who's the man send it to someone who needs some motivation yes from the young to the old it no matter because it's suitable for everyone and the airwaves check him out on Instagram at Nesbet Reggae. Make him no say a Mota Masiseno. Jam World to become the first 24 hour entertainment zone here in Jamaica. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen says the Jam World Entertainment Complex is being renovated for the facility to be the first 24 hour entertainment zone. The Jam World Entertainment Complex is being renovated for the facility to be the first. 24 hour entertainment zone. <laughs> to address the need for designated entertainment areas. Boy, I'm not gonna lie, a long time we await past something like this. A place where we can keep our parties without feeling like criminals, without having the police come and shut down with thing and make we have to go to court, go pay a charge and stuff. Yeah, man. I welcome it. But I'm sure everything has its hiccups, but me just want this to just come true. Check out that video with Jashi and I want to tell me what's different about him. <laughs> Yes, massive. My youth got to up him smile. Oh, it look. On a love this smile or no prefer the previous one? Let me know in the comment section below. Popeye News Link, this YouTube page, did an interview with this gentleman who is giving his side of the story about an altercation between him and Briscoe. Check out a piece of it. I said, even know the truck will burn up, not hurt me so much like the box when box me, you know? So when you move from this or no, when when, when that man in, in boom and in, whatever, what happened what after this one? Yeah. Me move well left him now, come here to myself saying goons them soon come. Me about hundred meter or a hundred and little meter the watch. Yes. One. So in driveway. I will him driveway. About 25, 30 minutes after. Yes. I see two car drivers, I see film car door up, man. I see them go up in the truck door because I truck on the street light. Yes. You get me? I don't know them train that, but I see the truck go up in a flame. Mm. So same time I go over, what other yard? So Briscoe was one of them who, who got towards the truck and do what I do? Briscoe go up my truck door. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. No, no one of them, a Briscoe, I see, go up my truck door. Okay, door. okay. Yes. You got me? Yes. And uh, when you open my truck door, I don't know. More is the truck front go up in a flame. Mm-hmm. You got me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, guys, if you want to watch the full interview, feel free to head on over to his YouTube page. The link will be in the description box. 
Bob Marley movie breaks box office record on its first day. That ends the theater drought. Bob Marley One Love breaks box office record, becoming the highest grossing Valentine Day opener ever. 14 million in one day. Paramount's biopic and about reggae star Bob Marley, directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green, resonates with audiences, cementing its success. The film features a talented cast and documents Marley's life and musical journey, showcasing his impact and legacy in the music industry. Well, I saw Futa Hype posted this on his Instagram. Futa Hype captioned that post by saying, "Uno so caught up in drama and ego, uno miss the winning play. I will have to open an eyes at Bob Marley, the greatest." So probably the reason why Futa Hype made this post is because some people have criticized the movie and I say it no good and so on. So one such person is popular podcaster Jay Frey. Check out what he had to say. Ziggy Marley, me don't know where you and Bob have. Me don't know where you, your father, and your brother them have. What kind of movie that my brother? The movie take 30 minutes for do this worst. I'm going to your interview. Ziggy, you will answer to these charges. I promise you. You know, it's when the privy court done, Ziggy. I promise you. The Jamaican government is going to take it to court for this f career just put out. Ziggy, how do you? Huh? Ziggy? Oh, my name already. Ziggy? Oh, that's play for this Ziggy. I'm in a smoke. See them? Me at the theaters right now, Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. Yo, I'm gonna split for this. Ziggy, why you, why you doing Ziggy? Ziggy! Me not watch it yet. Me go buy me ticket, and when I do, I'll let you know my thoughts on the movie. Have you watched it yet? Do you agree with Jay Frey and the other critics? Or you guys found a meaningful message coming out of the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. I like that for the little you what uh, I do in Sanga Guan with be a something something. What are your thoughts, Massive? Will you be buying tickets to see Naiji Boy in concert? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> <laughs> I should have lifted up the glasses and take a better look. A bit more thoroughly. But you know, I just want to say it's 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 a pleasure to be back. I'm 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 honored uh, that all these distinguished uh, guests the audience took the time out of their busy schedules to come and, and, and um, welcome us back onto the soil. You know, it's always a pleasure being here. Mommy at my place, something to represent every time. Um, so, you know, I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, we came here to perform, do two events. So one is tomorrow, Margaret and Bilocharia and then Jogging Jovey on the 17th. So it's, it's about to be a blast. Um, but besides that, you know, I personally believe in never forgetting where you come from. And you know, as a testament to those words, you know, I found it fitting that everything would come full circle and I would be allowed the privilege to perform in my community in my hometown and just revel with the people in excitement because you know music is a powerful thing and, and it, it's a universal language it connects all of us and it's a pleasure to bring this continental experience one thing yes <laughs>
Um, and then, you know, I personally believe in reciprocity. And visiting the Salvation Army School for the Blind tomorrow will allow me to give back to them in whatever capacity I'm able to because they were responsible for molding me into the man that I am today. They were a big part of the journey and they gave to me a lot, more than I can ever repay. But I have to tip my hat off to them. Uh, and, you know, we're just here to have a good time. Make Jamaica nice again. Police find skeletal remains believed to be of those of missing entertainer, Medic. On Wednesday, the 14th of February, 2024, the skeletal remain of a body suspected to be that of Miss Stephanie Williams, O.C. Medic, 29 years old, was found in a district known as Wallin in the parish of St. Catherine in a cane field. Miss Williams went missing on or about Thursday the 24th of August 2023 and has not been seen since. A missing person report was made to the Constant Spring Police by the mother of Miss Williams. As a result of the report, the police commenced investigation into a missing person and possible murder. Several lines of inquiries were made and several persons interviewed and statement recorded. It is also to be noted that several case conferences were held and significant support was given by the criminal investigation CIB headquarters in Kingston. The body will be processed and compared with DNA sample to determine the true identity. The investigation continues in the matter. I am appealing to anyone who may have information that can provide assistance to the police to call us at 119-311 and the nearest police station. The second and final day of Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer and three other convicts Privy Council appeal trial ended on Thursday. The dancehall superstar along with Sean Storm, Kyra Jones and Andrew St. John were convicted in March 2014 of the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. Much of the appeal has focused on the issue of whether Livingston Kane, who was found guilty of offering a $500,000 bribe to the jury for a woman to influence other jurors to return a not guilty verdict in the case, should have been dismissed from the panel. Vibes Cartel, his co-convicts and dancehall fans across the world will now have to wait at least 12 weeks for the verdict. Well, Massive, the Vibes Cartel fans, the Gaza Nation, they have been waiting for a very long time. Make sure three more months, now nah, go hurt. But anyways, Massive, want to think your verdict are going to be. When you think them are going to release him, you think them are going to do a retrial, you think them are going to give them less of time. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of Massey. Magan. Mouta Massey. Mouta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.